Hello everyone, this is Chris Richards reporting on behalf of The Big Smoke with Adam Richards and Ned Thorne who have just walked over 300 kilometres to Canberra for refugees. How do you feel at the end of your second walk? Sore and tired. Were people supportive along the walk? Yeah, they really were. Mm. Absolutely. Like we, um, we had... Uh, we expected we'd be sleeping on ground sheets and we ex expected that we'd be sleeping in sleeping bags and ground sheets and, and when it was raining in Sydney that wasn't a really great th thing to contemplate. But my sister in Adelaide went crazy and said look she's going to ring ahead and she did and she just rang up motels. People donated accommodation to us the whole way across. It was amazing. Yeah. It really, really was. We, we couldn't believe it. Right. Ned has obviously missed a bit of school last year and this year to come along the wa on the walk with you. Yeah. Um, what uh, have have you? What's he doing to to make up the, the missed work? And do you think the educational experience of the, doing the walk more than makes up for the small amount of time he's missed? Yes, and I'm doing homework. The worst part of the walk. <laughs> it's worse than all the blisters and being bitten by bullets. He's had, like, he's had homework to do. We got assignments set from his school and he's done the, he's done the science, he's done the uh, English assignment, he's done the history assignment and he's still doing the maths assignment, which he's dragging the, swinging the latch on. But what he's you... gotten through. Yeah, come on. I don't he... understand how. Yes. Unfortunately, <laughs> nor does his father, otherwise he'd have had it done. <laughs> yeah, but I would, are... but we well, don't, so. But, but the reason should just don't count. What is it? Just don't count. That's right. But the reality is that um, you know the the last week he missed a week's school, and when he got back to his school, the elite students in his school, uh, one week after he got back from Canberra, went off and did what he did. They went to see Parliament House. They went to the War Museum and they went to the Sports Institute. He missed the Sports Institute, but he substituted by meeting the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition, <laughs> and meeting Nick McKim. I reckon that was a, a fair swap. Plus, he got to see an awful lot of the Australian countryside, Plus flora, fauna, etc., etc. Et and and roadkill. Roadkill. What's your favourite anecdote from the walk this time? Bitten by bullion. <laughs> 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 so what happened was um, uh, we, we were taking we, a leak. We, we, there we were. So what what you do is you open the back door and the front door, and you can stand between them. And any cars coming, you kind of you, your privacy is protected. But and the cars can't see what's going on. You can have a pee. So it's like a portable toilet. Your car can operate that way. Of course, you're pretty away from the car. Right? I did that, and um, I must have peed right on top of a bull ant nest. And Ned then said, oh, I think I'd like a pee as well. So he came around after me and took his position, and the bull ants attacked him. <laughs> uh, in, in the walk, Ned likes to dance and run around and stuff. Well, I'll be staggering along exhausted, and he'll be practising bowling for Australia. And... Um, so True. let's just say Ned did a pretty, he did a little skittle dance. That was hilarious. Right. Uh, That's great. Understatement much? What do you think about the small numbers that turned up for your rally today? At least they were there. The, here's the first thing there is to say is those people that came, we had people come from Newcastle, Sydney, Adelaide. It was, that was such a privilege to be able to spend time with those people. And we're really grateful about that. And we're really, you know, we're, we're disappointed that we didn't see more people, but we understand it's a long weekend and a lot of people leave Canberra at that time. And, you know, we just really hope that next time we come, if there is a next time, the government doesn't stop it, that hopefully more Canberrans can get behind us. And what we're into at the moment is an inquiry about what we needed to do better that would have got the message out so people would have known we were here and could have gotten behind us more. Started but you know, pushing it earlier and earlier, I reckon, probably. Probably. But here's the thing, you know, uh, it was great. The people we had were great. And, and ultimately, sometimes it's not about whether someone agrees with you in life. It's about what stand you're willing to take. And the one thing that I think we achieved most on this walk is that we're just normal people and we're just little people. But big things... Big little people. Well, we'll never... Yeah, big, big version, unfortunately. Very big little people. But... Um, <laughs> But the truth of the matter is that it's only when little people stand up and if we could be an example just to a few people to, to get up on this issue as well, then we've achieved our purpose. And, um, you know, if we can do it, anyone can do it. Thank you for talking to The Big Smoke. 
Yeah, Chris, it's our pleasure, and, and thank you both to you and for those that are interested enough to thank be watching. You. Cheers.